What's up guys, Ben Pollock here. I wanted to talk to you about my plan for bulking in 2019. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you know this was something that I've been considering for a little while now. Um, and I've decided to kind of take the plunge because of the overwhelming support, mainly from people on, on Instagram. You know, I think that whether you're, whenever you're trying to make a change, whether it's uh, trying to gain weight, gain muscle, lose fat, even something else. It can be really, really challenging because you're taking a risk. You're putting yourself out there um, and you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. And so that's really intimidating. And Having that type of support can be a huge confidence boost. And man, right now, I'll be honest with y'all, I could really use a fucking confidence boost because I think trying to stay 181 for so fucking long really really messed with me um to the point where it was becoming not just physically unhealthy but also mentally unhealthy so you might be familiar with the fact that i uh i was suffering a lot of injuries physical injuries while i was prepping for the tribute um and then you know i kind of stayed around that weight after the tribute and just tried to eat comfortably um but i was kind of stuck in that routine of where comfortably was not nearly enough you know, some days I was eating 1,700 calories, even though I was training three or four hours a day. Um, you know, having spinach for dinner, that type of thing. And once you get in those habits, man, they're surprisingly hard to break. Even though nobody wants fucking spinach for dinner. So, once it started affecting me mentally, I realized it was time to make a change. And defining that mental kind of... Uh, negativity is very difficult for me especially because i want to you know try and stay positive as much as possible but uh, for me what i was really seeing was this uh almost depression like feeling where just even though everything was going well objectively i still wasn't happy at all i was just hungry <laughs> And, uh, you know, it eventually got bad enough and just persisted long enough that I was like, man, something's got to give. Something's got to give. So I'm not necessarily giving up 181 forever, but certainly, certainly in the short term. And I've been talking to my elite FTS teammates about this, and we've kind of agreed that, you know, I need to give it a full year at 198 to, A, fill out the class, B, adjust those leverages, and C, kind of mentally calm down. And so that's my plan. Um, I'm not really going to start this this move up until 2019 because I am still technically rehabbing a pec injury. I was really scared, again, be, probably because of the lack of food, that it was going to be something major, but it's really not. I mean, I was doing dips with 100 pounds just barely a week after the injury. So, you know, it's perfectly fine, but I'm taking it slow and steady. There's no rush. I'm um, giving myself that time to, to really um, be prepared for, for when I start this journey. Um, and I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not going to, you know, dirty bulk to 275, but I am going to try and get to the point where I weigh somewhere between 240, 270 at night, um, because that's filling out the 198s for me with how much my weight fluctuates. That can be a whole nother mind fuck in and of itself. That's, you know, a story for another video. But I will be documenting both here and on phshedlift.com my journey. Um, my diet that Justin Harris is going to be helping me out with, my training that I've got the Kabuki guys, the Elite FTS guys, Matt Winning, some other incredibly smart guys helping me out with, uh, and then my, my meets next year, which are the Tribute and the U.S. Open, which I'm, I'm really excited for. Uh, my fiance and I are moving next week. We're going back to Virginia where my family is. Again, some for support and some for just a change of pace. We need... We need a change of pace. And so that's what this bulking is, is really going to be about. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to be negative or that I'm still down in the dumps or anything like that. I really just want to make it clear that I'm being objectively smart. I'm not trying to do this as kind of like a spur of the moment, you know, YOLO type deal, right? This is a, this is a pretty predetermined strategy that I've thought out very carefully. I'm really excited about uh, especially because when you consider my background, right, uh, dealing with the strength history and whatnot, when you look back in the past, there really weren't a whole lot of guys that tried to tried to stay super small um, when it comes to powerlifting. You know, that old school look is kind of that thicker, bigger um, kind of powerlifting, power building physique that I'm going for, and I think it'll be really cool to get there 
let alone to see what's going to happen with my strength, which you know is just going to go through the fucking roof. You can look at the difference between my performance at the U.S. Open in 2017 and Reebok Riker Breakers in 2017, see that, you know, almost 200-pound gain, and know that, okay, Ben's going to perform a lot better at 198, even if the competition is also going to be a lot higher. So, uh, that's the plan. What I need from you guys is to tell me exactly what you want to see um, from this from this documenting. And I know everybody wants to know about the diet. Everybody wants to know about the training. That shit's easy. I want to talk about the stuff that other people don't talk about, whether it's kind of like the mental aspects of, man, how do you eat enough food when you're just not hungry? Or, you know, is it fucking with your sleep? Do you feel bloated all the time? How do you kind of um, have good workouts when all this food is sitting in your stomach? Whatever the case may be. Um, whether it's something about, you know, having concerns about staying lean while you're trying to grow. Um, those are the questions I'm really trying to tackle. I will absolutely be including the other stuff as well. I think that's really important information, um, but I want this to be special. I want to be a little bit different, and I could really use your feedback in that regard. Uh, in addition to this bulking journey, we're going to have a lot more cool stuff on phdeadlift.com coming up in 2019. Um, I really hope that, you know, being in Virginia, I can reach out and maybe get in touch with some of you guys on the East Coast, do a lot more in-person stuff, visit Elite FTS more, and, and really be more active in the powerlifting scene. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Please, please, please leave comments below. Comments, questions, advice, anything you got, I'm, I'd appreciate hearing it. Till next time, thanks strong, train open.